Hey everyone and welcome to part 1 of my Fallout 4 creation kit tutorial. Today I'm going to show you some basic movements and item manipulation in the creation kit. Okay, so first you want to do is download the Bethesda.net launcher, right click, run it as administrator. I've already done that so I'm just going to click, double click to launch it. Here it is. Okay, let's just close the creation kit first. Give it a wee second, it's gonna freeze. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, right. Okay, let's just click play since it's already launched as administrator. The reason you launch it as administrator is so whenever you're saving to your hard drive, it has access. Because as it probably is at the start, you won't. Okay, now that we're loaded in here, what you're gonna do is click file, data, and then click double click folly4.esm then click OK. That'll launch or that'll sorry load all the assets in for folly4. Okay we're loaded in here so the warnings you don't need to worry about they just come up anyway. Layers you don't need to worry about that for now that's just whenever you're loaded in. Okay for this tutorial I'm gonna go in this is your cell view by the way, this is what, what you know, place you want to view. So we'll go to Commonwealth for the outside world. Wait for that to load. Okay, it's loaded in, so we'll go to... Let's see, what should we click into? Pick, just, I'm just going to pick something here that will be easy with not too much stuff going on. Grey Garden, that'll do. So we'll just double click Grey Garden and it'll launch in the uh, cell. Okay, we're loaded into Grey Garden here. Obviously this is going to be the vanilla cell before you uh, change it and stuff with the, you know, the end game editor. So, as it is, whenever you launch in, it's going to look like this. To get rid of the, uh, all the purple circles and stuff and the wee random stuff, you're just going to hit M and that will deselect all the uh, triggers. And then you're going to click A to get the standard lighting up. Okay, basics of moving around. Spacebar lets you move around, you know, freely. If you click Alt, it'll let you rotate. Select an object and you'll lock onto that object so you can rotate around it. So I'll just center myself and there we go. To move the object, just left click and drag. If you want to have rotation lock on, and this is rotation lock here, and snap to grid, that just basically means it'll snap to certain points, you know, at a set distance. But we don't need to worry about that too much for now, so we'll just leave them deselected. Okay, once you've got the object selected, you can move it around, manipulate it as much as you want. Click S and hold to edit the scale, so we'll just make this ridiculously big. To put it up and down, hold in Z, and it'll bring up that axis so you can just hold Z and drag so we'll just put this up here for for no reason to duplicate an object hit ctrl D and it'll duplicate it in place so we'll just make one of these slightly bigger rotate it around with the right right click we'll make it oh, oopsie doops don't want that just ctrl you can also click ctrl C and ctrl V and that'll just duplicate it like they normally would. That's just copy and paste basically, but Control D works a lot better because it doesn't, it, you know, it duplicates it in place. So we'll just drag that up here. Just making this complete shithole. Okay, now to rotate it around different ways, we'll just drag something here, like this here. Oop. Drag that around here, bring it up, and we'll scale it up a wee bit. You can obviously just right click and do that, but that's not what we want. We want to hit the W key and that'll bring this axis wheel up. So you can just select one of these wheels and drag it up like that. Oops. Try and get it flat there. And then we'll just deselect it with W again. Scale it up a bit. Oops. Oh. You can pause this and then drag it up. 
rotate, rotation like that and try that again. Okay, well, I don't want to screw around that too long, but yeah, whenever you load the actual object in, which is from here, I'll show you that now. We can delete that with the delete key, because we don't really want that anyway. Rotate ourselves around, so we can zoom in with the scroll wheel, and then we'll go to, this. obviously you need to click in these, select all this, so I just clicked world objects. We can hit containers, clutter, that's just loot bag. They'll all be set with different things that'll spawn in them randomly. But we're gonna want, let's see, landscape. You can have a hollowed out rock. So that's obviously container. Double click that to get into it and. Click edit base and that brings us into what's actually in it. So this one has right away, stem pack, all that. If we go to items, let's say we want to put in the, hmm, right, let's just say we'll put some ammo in it. We don't want actor ammo, we just want normal ammo. Put some 50 cal in it. Drag that here. 50 caliber, right click. Oh, don't need to right click that. Count, we'll put 100 in it, and then we'll click OK. So that's just, I just changed that to have an extra 100 clips of 50 cal in it. So that'll be there. First things first, I should have showed you just at the start, but hit Control S, and that'll bring up the save menu. Just save it in your Folly 4 data, that's the only place it's really happy saving. We're going to save this as test1.esp, just to keep it happy. And then we'll click save. Already exists. I'm going to overwrite it because I've done this earlier. So that's every time we hit Control S now, it'll just save it for us because this does crash quite a lot. So that's a warning for everybody. So make sure you save your work. Okay, let's take rotation lock off. If you want to edit the landscape, you can hit the H key and that'll bring up the landscape editor. So we'll just zoom out a wee bit. So you can just make this big, you know, screw around with it. If you want to soften verticals, just click there and you can fuck around with that all you want. You know, you should just read through it. I'll do a, a more in-depth tutorial of that later. So we'll just hit H again to get rid of that. Okay, what next? To ghost an object, say we don't want to see this actor, we'll hit the one key. Do it half, ghost it, and double click it to get rid of it. If we want to bring, we'll just say we'll, sh we'll ghost a couple objects. Oop, double click that by accident. Say we'll just half ghost random shit. Okay, now we can't select that again because it's been ghosted. So what we're going to do is click Alt and it on the one key at the same time and that'll bring everything back. That's useful if you're clicking on stuff and something's getting in the way, like whatever the fuck this is. But yeah, okay, so we'll spawn in our new object here, De deselect items, we'll go to world objects, we'll go to furniture, let's say tier object, nope, don't want any of that, okay, we don't want liberty prime laser, props, set dressing, Okay, you're just gonna have to look through this and find the objects you want. You can search it by just putting chair in and it should bring up some chairs. Enter and give it a wee second. Oop, check world objects. Okay, as you can see these are just chairs because I've got a picture of a chair in it. That's a barber chair. So if you sit in that it's gonna change things. See chairs. We'll put in a stadium chair. We'll floor that with the F key. Select around it. Floor it some more. 
Oh. Actually, is that just a floating? No, it's not. It looks pretty stupid. Oh, I'm scaling it, silly me. Z key I wanted. Okay, it's a magic chair. <laughs> I'll do it. Let's leave that there. If we want a actual chair that's gonna let you sit in, we'll drag that in. The actor, or you should be able to sit in that, but if you want to put, you know, say your companion is in it, you're gonna have to mess around with it and put a uh, flag in, but I'll show you that in a later video. So let's just say we've got the mini chair there and that one. Okay. So that's how to spawn objects in and change, or put things into containers, how to level off floors, and basic moving around controls, like space, uh, the shift key to rotate, zoom key with mouse wheel, you can also click in the mouse wheel to move around, select things with the left click, Obviously, you can get into the different tabs with the right click like you normally would in a computer, but you don't need to worry about any of that in this video. Okay, so we'll double go over the duplicate key. Snap to grid works for these really well. So if I want to duplicate that, and floor that. Anyway, let's, do you know what? I'll show you the control Z key. Control Z undoes and what does redo? Which one is redo? Control Y, okay. Control Y, Control Z, undo, redo. Thanks everyone for watching. This concludes part one of my creation kit tutorial. The next tutorial, I'll show you how to make new cells and link them cells to the outside world. I've left a couple of basic commands in the description, so if you want to check them out, I think you'll find them useful. If you like this, please leave a like. If you didn't, then uh, don't. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and thanks for watching.